All right, in this video, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to download field measurements from a U.S. Geological Survey stream gauging website and make a rating curve. So you need to find your stream gauging station first. I'm going to go to the Iowa uh, Water Resources page. That's ia.water.usgs.gov and hit that. And uh, here's our uh, base map. We can click on that and make it a little bit bigger if you need it. To, and every single dot on this map is a stream gauging station that's monitored. Um, you guys are probably going to be working on the one at Duck Creek Golf Course. That's 0542260. Uh, I'm going to choose a different one just to show you um, how to do it on a different stream. So you're going to choose your website. Uh, I'll use this one up here on the Wapsipinicon River, uh, which is a much larger um, drainage basin than you guys are working with. So if I click on that dot and then I click on the active link, that'll take me to the um, website for this gauging station. So this is the um, gauging station on the Wapsi River near DeWitt, Iowa. Here's other information. Check out this pull-down menu. You should look through all this kind of stuff up here. You can see a location map and stuff like that. To see what it looks like today, do the current and historical observations. Uh, and here's what it's had over the past week. We've got the discharge curve and the gauge height. So this is the stage in feet above the datum. Uh, the information on the datum should be given on the um, main page, which is back here. Here's our drainage basin area and the datum of the gauge and the summary of all available data. Okay, so to make your rating curve, you want to access... Um, the um, you want to access the field measurements. So come to the pull down menu and click on uh, surface water field measurements and that'll open this up and this gives you a data table of every single time a team went out there and they measured the um, the discharge and then they related it to the gauge height. So here's the discharge called stream flow in cubic feet per second. Here's the gauge height in feet uh, and this is the data that you want. So you're going to download this data. You can do this at a tab separated data without channel data. Um, just click on this and it will save it as a text file. Or it'll download it here as a text file and you're going to want to save it. So I'm going to do, a, uh, I'm on a PC obviously. Uh, if you're on a Mac things are going to be a little bit different. So I'll do a right button click and I'll say save as um, and then I'll give it a file name and a location where I'm going to do this just for simplicity. I'm going to put this on my desktop. I can clean it up later. Um, and I'll say um, WAPSI um, gauging, I'll say um, measurements rating curve. Give it a file name and it's going to save as a text document. Um, it's a tab separated text document so when you read it in Excel it's going to recognize all these tabs. So now what you want to do is open up Excel and, um, and import that data. So go to File, there it is, Open, And you need to tell it to look for a text file. Um, so you can come down here to text file and make sure you give it a path to tell it where to look. I'm looking on the desktop and I should see it here. There it is, WAPSI measurements rating curve dot text. So I'm going to click on that. I say open. Um, you want to make sure that it says delimited with a tab. So hit next and click on tab, make sure that that's there, probably will recognize it. Hit next and then finish and you should have all the data you need. So that's everything. Where you see these hashtags here, that simply means there's more data in that column that can fit so you can widen the column. So this is all the stuff you need. Actually, you don't even need all this stuff. First thing you wanna do is save this as an Excel spreadsheet. So go to save as, save it as a spreadsheet, Excel workbook, um, it's just going to go back on my desktop for now, but you probably want to put it into a special folder. So now, um, now I can make graphs and stuff and I'll save all those graphs. 
Um, I can get rid of, I want to clean up all the data here. I'm going to get rid of these upper lines here. So I'm going to highlight those. If I hit on the shift curve, shift, shift button and right left button click, I can highlight all those lines and I can do a right button click then and um, delete all those. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. I also don't like the second line here that has these things. So I'm going to highlight that line and delete that as well. And basically all I really need are these two columns here, the gauge height and the discharge. So um, uh, I'm going to call it gauge height. I'm going to rename that, going to call it stage in feet just so I can see it better. And then discharge, I'm going to call that Q and CFS. It's all measured in cubic feet per second. Um, and uh, if you want, you can clean up other stuff here because you don't really need this like who measured it and so forth. I'm going to delete some of those columns and I'm going to delete the rest of these columns. Just clean it up for my purposes. And then I've got these two columns here. Um, I'll give it a color just so we can see it better. So there's my data. I'm going to save that. Okay. And what I want to do now is um, graph these to see the rating curve. Um, and I want to graph it so that stage is on the y-axis and discharge is on the x-axis. So actually what I'm going to do is by default the first column, the one on the left, is going to go for the x-axis. So I'm going, to, I'm going to flip these. I'm going to highlight column E and I'm going to hit um, control X or cut. I'm going to simply move it over here, control V, and I'm going to paste it there. So that way the first column on the left is going to be by default the X column when I make a graph. Okay, and I'm going to save that again, control S, and it's saving it. Okay, so now I'm going to make a graph to do that. I'm going to um, highlight all of the data in columns F and G, and you can just do this and come all the way down to the bottom. So we got a long data set for this particular gauging station. A long dating set, data set. Goes back to the 30s. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. You guys know some of the shortcuts probably. So I highlighted both of those columns and I'm going to graph those. So I'm going to come up to insert and do a scatter plot and I don't need any lines connected to those and that's what it looks like. But I got a couple weird ones here. You probably will not get that. I'm not quite sure what's up with these. But the rest of them should be there and there is my rating curve. But for me to see that, do a right button click on the graph. I'm going to move the chart. Oops. I'm going to move the chart. I like to put it in a different sheet. So I'm going to call that rating curve. Hit OK. And now it made it a different tab here at the bottom. And there's my rating curve. But now, um, so this is uh, discharge across the x-axis and stage on the y-axis. I don't know what these po points are here, so you can either get rid of those, but I'm going to adjust that by simply adjusting the y-scale of this. Uh, I can give it some axis titles, um, WAPC rating curve 2017, and this axis should be stage in feet. And this axis should be discharge in cubic feet per second. And now for this axis here, I'm going to uh, format the axis. So if you click on that, you can hit Format Axis. And um, I want to give it a maximum of uh, probably... We'll try 15 feet. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. So there's my rating curve. As you guys are working on Duck Creek, you're going to see a lot fewer da data points, but they've been working on this for years. So I suppose that some of these are more recent measurements than others, and it could be that the WAPSI has changed its characteristics, so they're working with a different rating curve. But that's basically how you do it. Then you can save the data, and you've got it. So I think hope that helps you out.